One of the climate denialists funded by Donors Trust is a group called the Committee for a Constructive Tomorrow. They run the website yes. Climate Depot, which consistently attacks scientists and environmentalists who call for taking on global warming. Now, the head of Climate Depot, uh, Mark Morano, appears frequently on Fox News and also mainstream outlets like CNN. On Monday, the day after tens of thousands of people rallied against the Keystone XL pipeline on the National Mall, Morano appeared on Fox News to warn that Keystone, Keystone opponents could resort to, quote, eco-terrorism, and he cited as their inspiration the NASA climatologist James Hansen. So the leaders at NASA, uh, in the, you know, I call them NASA's resident ex-con, is inspiring these people to potential acts of eco-terrorism. They, these people believe in this doomsday prophecy and don't think they won't act. I mean, when I was in the U.S. Senate Environment Committee, uh, we had to deal with eco-terrorism when it came to uh, animal rights. We had to deal with uh, the, there's been eco-terrorism when it deals with property rights in, out in Colorado. So it's a very real thing, torching SUVs. This movement, if it gets frustrated, particularly frustrated with a Democratic president, Obama, who's supposed to be their standard bearer uh, and actually goes ahead and approves the pipeline, they're going to be a lot of angry people, not the least of which is probably the NASA scientist going to jail again, James Hansen. That's Mark Morano of Climate Depot appearing on Fox News. Uh, Suzanne Goldenberg, you know, if you talk I, I about I... his group. I, well, I wish I would seen it. I mean, that's quite incredible. Just uh, let's get back to, to, to the truth here, is that, yes, James Hansen was arrested, in fact, as recently as um, last week. And what he was doing was just using plastic twist-tie handcuffs to handcuff himself to the gates of the White House and, you know, in an agreement arranged in advance with the D.C. police, arranged to be arrested in a nonviolent fashion with 40-something other activists, you know, to make a symbolic protest against the Keystone Pipeline. So I do not know how you can describe these kind of acts, which, you know, were pursued by Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and other, uh, you know, uh, peaceful resistors. I don't know how you can call that eco-terrorism. But I think it's, a, it's really uh, it's really interesting and important to see what uh, Mark Morano is doing here, and which is that he's deliberately spreading misinformation. And, and lies, really, ab about what happened and about the means of protests that are taking place against the P Keystone Pipeline. And this is crucial, because it helps create this sort of confusion about what people are doing to oppose the pipeline. And in that confusion, it makes it difficult for people to make an informed choice about what is right, what is wrong. And it makes it really hard for people in Congress or people in government agencies and in state agencies to actually act on a very urgent problem, because there's so much confusion and controversy surrounding it.